What is good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we are back with brand new action figure news for you guys. We got AEW action figure news as well as some outside the realm kind of action figure news to you. I apologize if my voice sounds a bit scratchy, but we do have some updates on those new Amazon figures that we talked about not too long ago with AEW and Rival 2 packs, as well as some updates on some other things as we'll get into it, man. But anyways, let's go ahead and dive into the news, man. Starting out first, we have some brand new looks at some AEW Unrivaled Collection. 2-pack figures, and I know I can already hear the groans from here, man. I can already hear the groans that are going to be existing, but we gotta get into it, man. Let's pull it up first. Starting out first, we have a Luchasaurus and Jungle Boy 2-pack Jurassic Express coming to us here in the 2-packs, and unfortunately, Brad, as you can see, I mean, just look at it. It is just a repaint of the Unrivaled Series 5 Luchasaurus and the Jungle Boy which we already saw in the ringside exclusive two-pack with the white gear, if you guys can remember that. I do like the gear a lot. I think it's really cool. It's got the black and green with the all-green mask. Like, I like this look of Luchasaurus. I'm always glad to get extra Luchasauruses. I love Luchasaurus, but this one is just the same. And also, Luchasaurus's arm is turned backwards. As you guys can see with Jungle Boy, it looks like he's coming with a loincloth of some kind that wraps around his waist. You get the AEW World Tag Team Championships, interchangeable hands, and I just noticed... How how bummerific is it? The Luchasaurus's interchangeable hands doesn't even have his tattoos on the hands, so that kind of gives us a little bit of an update there, but these figures, like, they're not bad per se, you know, because uh, fundamentally they're the exact same figures, they're just repainted, but you do get your, your Jungle Boy with the loincloth wrapping around there, or the rib wrap, if you will. I like the trunks with the darker color, but it is the same head sculpt, same formula, same knee pads, same everything about the Unrival Series 5. I know a lot of people aren't going to like these, but I still like the two packs. I like the two-pack idea. I think the Luchasaurus looks pretty damn good for what it is. I like the black and green. I like all the deco you got going on there. As you guys know, Luchasaurus is one of my favorites, but at the same time, he is uh, very disappointing in AEW figure form when it comes to posing him around and trying to get him in positions. The the tassels on the back of the legs do not allow for a good knee bend. You know, the, the double-jointed knee is non-existent. The knee pads are very bulky. His feet do not stand well. They're kind of loose. And then just the whole loose leg problem. It's a very disappointing figure. It looks outstanding. You look at it, it looks like an amazing figure, and it is from an aesthetic standpoint. It looks beautiful, but as far as a posing and trying to get him into good positions and do some cool things with him, it is pretty abysmal. If anybody has this figure and poses it around, you guys will know, but I do love the black and the green. I think that now we have pretty much all the good looks of Luchasaurus for now. I just want to see a new formula. I want to see them redo this, go back to the drawing board, and change him up for the next Luchasaurus, but as a, you know, this is just classic, you know, Jack style stuff. They're going to keep releasing these guys and we're going to get repaints. We're going to get reissues and that's kind of what we got here. But it's still a really cool two pack. I think if you could get this autographed by both guys, it would be really sick. But we also have a look at another two pack, which is going to be the Darby, Allen, and Sting two pack that we leaked out not too long ago from Amazon. We didn't have images on it, but we did have the information. You guys remember we took on here and we talked about the news about it and we broke down the details of the set. We didn't know exactly what it would look like. But here it is here with the Sting figure. And it's just another repaint. I mean, they're both repaints again. That's what the two packs have always been besides the Young Bucks one which we just got not too long ago with the cool bright colors, which was a great two-pack, but this seems to be another re-release, but it is different. Is it, At least you do get a different shirt here for Sting, so that is, it gives you a different look there for him. I want to see a singlet Sting. I want to see even a short sleeve Sting would be cool, just to change it up a little bit, and it would have been cool to see the ringside exclusive head sculpt on this guy, just to give you another way to get that head sculpt, but I guess they got to keep that ringside exclusive exclusive in that way, so that you don't ever have another way to get it besides ringside collectibles, but which makes total sense to me, but the Darby Allen looks good as well. Looks very similar to figures we've seen in the past. You know, it's going to be a great formula. He's got his tattoo on there. You get a great skateboard right there. Darby's face paint is pretty cool. I like the figures. I really do like the figures. I think it would have been sick if we included Darby Allen's jacket in there as well, but it's just another two-pack, repainted two-pack. I mean, that's what these two-packs are going to be. Unless it's like a ringside exclusive or something, you're not going to get a ton more on the bone here, but I do like the two-packs right here that we got for Sting and Darby Allen. I know I can already hear the groans. I know that a lot of people are going to be pissed off or they're going to be annoyed with these two packs just because it's the same old, same old. And wouldn't you know it, Brad, what do they include inside the packaging for the Darby Allen two pack? It is a microphone and a steel chair and the skateboard. So you guys get the microphone yet again. You're going to get a microphone every time you buy something with AEW on it, for, especially for figures, you're getting a microphone. I'm very shocked that the Jungle Boy and Luchasaurus one does not come with a microphone. But moving on, man, we also had a look at some in 
unbox images of the Power Town wrestling figures that are coming soon for the Bruiser Brody. And I think it's so funny. Like, I, I have mixed feelings about this. You guys, if you guys don't know what Power Town wrestling is, it is this, like, it's kind of a third-party company here making their own wrestling figure line. They're going to be doing a lot of classic guys, like super, super classic guys. But you guys can see here, Power Town wrestling. You got the Ultras Premium Collectible. You got Bruiser Brody, Power Town, where wrestling lives on. You got the, get the PWF World Tag Team Championship belt, it says in there. Pretty cool packaging to go all the, all the way around 360. You got the little bifold there, the little book opening cover there. It gives you a nice little bio read of Bruiser Brody. It's got an image of the figure. You get the accessories in there. Nice chain. Very cool stuff going on right here. I hope that the figures look as good as these do right here. I think this head sculpt looks phenomenal, with the, especially with all the details that you're getting here. I'm very... You know, I'm skeptical because of everything we know about what's been going on so far with this line or what you've heard about this line and if it's going to come to fruition and how soon we're supposed to be seeing them. And, you know, there's a long list of things that we're supposed to do. But this this packaging reminds me of like a, like a computer, like security software, like from 2001 box, especially with that Powertown Wrestling logo in the bottom right corner. This just looks like something, like one of those computer games or something that would come in like the late 90s early 2000s that's what this packaging reminds me of even though i do like it it does have a very like classic feel to it maybe not exactly that classic as far as like classic is talking about in this specific instance but i think that the uh the bruiser brody figure does look good you know they do have single jointed arms and knees which i think is going to be a huge issue but i think for display purposes and stuff like that we're going to be okay you know i think you could still do an action figure match i don't expect much out of the ab crunch or something like that but Head sculpt looks great. I do like that we get a championship included. I know nothing about the championship, but it is still a cool piece of history to have. And, you know, maybe you could, you know, do something with that. I don't know what the market is for these. I know that, you know, we've been talking about them for a while. We, we've known about them for a very long time. I don't think I've ever really mentioned them on the on the channel. But I did want to mention this because I thought it was a cool update. You got Bruiser Brody, 7-inch scale. It includes the rest of the figures down there. You got Vern Gagne, Lou Thez, Magnum TA, Kerry Von Eric. You got Stan Hansen in there. So, you know, some very classic figures. All the figures are coming with championships they all have entrance gear they got some towels and interchangeable hands and stuff bruiser brody comes with the chain and a vest i mean you got some really cool stuff working here i am just excited to see what these finally look like when we get them in hand hopefully they will live up to expectations hopefully they will be what we need to be i think the detail in the beard and hair is crazy like with the sculpt i think that'll be really impressive i hope that we do get that level of detail like the eyes look insane it probably won't be that level of detail you know but i hope that we get something of of some sort near that i mean honestly if we got like 70 or 80 percent of that detail that we're seeing right here it should still probably be pretty cool but i hope they feel good in hand i hope they live up to the expectation and i hope they're pretty solid as far as everything they've been telling us for today's random shout out it's gonna go to trunky donkeys who says i usually use a calendar and put the figures in it and pull it out and i have no idea what that meant but i didn't know if maybe one of you knew what the hell he was trying to say so trunky donkey usually uses a calendar and puts the figures in it and pull it out